I'm mentioning these few things so you understand that, again, I do deal with all types of people. And uh, alongside this point, when we're talking about this notion of white people in the streets as bums and hoodlums, understand that I'm making it a point to talk to you about that because this should not be happening. You, the Caucasian, you, this being, that's supposed to be a void of filth, void of which has been removed because the world is not supposed to know those things. But it says they have gone and soiled themselves. Speaking of the NU, they have gone and soiled themselves. In other words, they have therefore uh, they've acquired a certain substance or certain attributes or certain genetics. You have your children. Well, you are not the NU. You are Caucasian. Although you are a sort of representation, this should not be happening. It is happening because because of this, the leadership that we have of this world today is the type of leadership that has rendered everybody on this planet 60 gigabyte of information. Now, they didn't think the information itself. They made away with things that they thought they could sell. We've got to begin to get serious about this. But when you hear me speak, you hear the Akan. I am the first Akan. I am that which begins the process of reinstating the truth of the human on planet Earth. Not very much, because this portion of history is made to be not spoken of, is made to be looked at as a joke. These were these beings. Those were the Amun. What you call today human is the Amun. When you hear of Amun Ra, what's just say Akan? Because the Atin part is a piece that they're going to associate with this being's name to basically offer the world some kind of foolishness as this is being just the worst you people call today, you know, meditatistic religion. This is so silly out here. Pretty soon here, I'm going to begin to explain this to you in much more details. But it's going to get serious. It's going to get severe. And those of you that can't stay in the heat, uh, it is now about time that you begin to exit. Click another video. We're not here to so much speak about that, but we're here to talk about a matter uh, that is very important. Of late, I noticed uh, there's a talk out there about Mr. Oscar De La Hoya making a, a, a series of foul comments via email about black people. But there are those, there are the leaders that have also been taking a listen, and I'm speaking this to them. You've learned the religious aspect of it. You've been in the process of learning the actual physicality of the thing, what it means in relation to all of us here. This is what you're learning. Oh, the physicality of it is real. It is one where the wealth of the world is allocated to just a time where there are activities for a state that you cannot understand that are being kept secretive. On the surface, you don't understand what's happening. You just think life is normal. There's so much to understand what's happening. Of late, uh, in the last two years or so, you saw an activity about a huge quantity of black Africans going into Europe by the masses. And they've given you a story. You think that's what it was. But so the religious thing that you've received is actually a coded uh, in, in relation uh, with... So I hope you don't get bit out of ship out of this. Uh, if you wear a thin coat, go ahead and put a stronger one on. Because you're going to be hearing some stuff here uh, that is not the norm. So this situation where you have folks on the planet that are still continually and very intent on belittling the human. Belittling the human being on the planet, you folks take pleasure and belittling the human being on this planet. I don't think you folks understand the severity of this. I do not think you people understand the retardation that this represents when you go to belittle the human being on this planet. The Amman. I don't think you understand this. And so you have Oscar de la Hoya who feels that he is and I'm speaking to those of you that are in a position to lead mankind. Some of you also have been taking a listen. Uh, those that are scientists within this group have uh, spoken about that because it is actually at a point where it will become uh, stuck. Mankind happens to not be of the stuff. 
you folk have been severely failing in doing this. And so I've got to say a couple of very important, severe, strict words to you. Because when you hear from the biblical narrative, not biblical, but scripture, your forefathers, listen and listen well. You will hear many quotes, even in the gospel, and many of the books that the Adamu has removed from the Tuit Bible. You'll hear the mention of Jesus. You understand? It? So, because this world has been at such some intelligent level, it cannot fathom these things. It cannot understand these things. Just as it cannot understand many things. It cannot understand now turning both clockwise and counterclockwise. And you folk have been watching this thing forever. You cannot understand it. Just as you cannot understand much you. So, if you don't begin to understand the severity, the idiocy, the gravity, the retardation that is attached. Because I have straightened you from the lies uh, that have been taught you. All of it is retardation. No person here found existence. The bonobo is actually a, the homo sapien on earth, although the final Caucasian. So when you hear of the notion of RH negative, there is nothing of the NU. In other words, the NU came here, which is negative. It's negative of certain substances. Because what you're doing now is you're actually becoming more intelligent. You're actually learning. If you want to go keep on planning in the lies, that is, you know, the case of the planet today, the lies that you've learned, there is a multitude of it throughout the world. Oh, feel free to indulge. And just understand, though, that it keeps you uh, a pretty retarded being. You won't know the truth and just understand that it would work to your advantage. Just understand... What kind of nonsense is that? You have the human spirit in you. It's the human spirit, among many things, reasoning, and justice. Does that make sense to you? Because there's much knowledge lacking amongst you people. I'm going to explain something to you. You have the human physique today. The you from which you descend does not necessarily have your physique. Because the you is created to be... And I gotta explain this to you because you, you folks don't understand this. You, you think it's a joke. You think the human being is a joke because you hear of the notion of UFOs. Uh, by the way, I have a complete study on this, but I gotta mention this so, so you understand this. You hear of the notion of UFOs and the gray aliens <laughs> and certain phenomena that are happening around here that would be of an outer source. Yet, you see a case where the government is hiding it. The government are hiding it, just as they are hiding our truth here. You hear of the notion of, you know, aliens and stuff like that, weird looking creatures. You have those that they call the graves now. <laughs> you folks are going to begin to respect your state as the human and begin to respect us. But this situation with the graves, you, you folks don't understand it. What you have as your graves, for example, Remember, in uh, teaching a while back, I had said to you folk, the human being, which also includes mankind coming from it, the human being is the so much, much, and all of that stuff. Listen, listen. These things that you hear of called the grays, you understand? Those are beings that dub their lives. Not the grays in particular, but they are whose physique whose genetic, whose makeup is eternal in a sense, but it's perfect. As I've said, folks, because the Anunnaki is white, they are working when they had come to Earth, work with. So they're able to put you, mankind, where they are, because speech belongs to the human and the human alone. So we got to explain certain things to you. When you folks take to, you know, disrespect us out here, in the case of Oscar and Ohio, this thing he talks about is ridiculous. Oscar... Last time we checked, Oscar, if you search in books, you will see that. In books that are confiscated from our land after it has been taken over, you will see where our people speak about the fact that we have created this being. But what has happened is people on Earth have interpreted this, especially those that are in the conscious community, and they have been engaged in lying to the whole of the world ever since then. This would be as if saying... In the year 6,000, or in the year 10,000, uh, the Caucasian today can happen. Such is not a possibility. That is per the first bridge 
a second witch is going to come in, as in a movie, so to speak, as in the Book of Eli or 2012, the Deep Impact of such movies, in the aftermath, that is of your defense, that is genetics that is speaking here. That is the actual effect of genes. Genes do not lie. When you're talking about being Caucasoid, which has a different uh, sort of skull shape and a different genetic as far as their phenotype. Uh, Illuminati Masons versus Illuminati Jews, Jesus versus Jacob, and, and ever since there's been the affairs of angels or Anunnaki on this planet. This is what we're dealing with, okay? And so, ever saying that you've learned that would compel you to go about hating people, that is not who you are. But they are whites. I must specify this before I close this. White people, let me rephrase, Caucasians are white people. They look white. But not all white people are Caucasians. You understand? Let me state it again. Caucasians are white, but not all whites are Caucasians. If you don't understand this, and if you don't understand everything else that I've just explained to you as far as that is why you're seeing activities of things coming back and forth out here, inconspicuously, very close to us, grazing, crop circles, these are things that are, this is what you don't understand. And if you hate in the wrong group, understand you, that is going to enable you and us as an assembly to combat this deception. So when I speak, I'm millennia ahead of the state of thinking of many of you out there. You need to be rehabilitated and recalibrated. Your mind has remained dormant for a long time. And so my leadership has thus begun. The goal is to eradicate all lies about this human race on this planet, to unite the descendants of the Shuman, Aman, and the descendants of the Enu, and together with you, the children of the Lord that has been sitting here also idly, who have the capacity to actually do a lot to work in unison to advance our world forward. Thus, my leadership has begun. I'm going to be asking a few things of you, and you're going to be asking a few things of those around you. You're going to be a teacher, a leader. We're going to be the adults in the room. And as an initial step to this leadership of mine, leadership of ours rather, uh, we're launching the I Am Not Made of Mud campaign. The I'm Not Made of Mud campaign. Because nobody here on this planet should believe that their body, their physique, their minds, their spirit, their flesh, everything that makes up their person is something that some god came out here and proceeded to grab some dirt from the ground, uh, some mud, and proceeded to breathe the breath of life into it and shape something called Adam out of mud. We are launching as a first step to begin to recalibrate the mind of the human being and mankind on this planet. The I am not made of mud campaign. As a person, in your capacity today, with the ability of speech, which is extremely, extremely a superior ability, you're not going to believe that you are made out of mud. Nobody that you know should believe that some God came down here and made them out of mud. Nobody that you cross path with should believe that they were made out of mud. And so we're launching the I Am Not Made of Mud campaign as an initial step to the solution of mind and ours. And I want you to partake in there. First thing I want you to do is to take a moment uh, to write in the comment box below that uh, write emphatically, in fact, capitalize it. I want you to write, quote, I am not made of mud, end quote. I am not made of mud. And so we are going to be producing some T-shirts about that. And I want you to be a leader in that thought. I want you to take a moment to speak, 
to those that you uh, have a chance to speak to and mention to them, it could be in the middle of a conversation. Say, what do you think about this God thing, you know, you made out of mud? Can not take a moment to explain to them? You've learned a lot here thus far. All right? I want you to help me out with that, and also I want you to support in producing those things. I am not made of mud. I want you to write, I'm not made of mud. This is a first step in this leadership of ours, and eventually we'll reach out to a lot more people. This is the beginning of the firing of the deceiver of this planet. This is Solicitor, this is Ada Akron. And I want to thank you also, the noble ones. Let's be the adults in the room.